Hey guys, welcome back to NoobTube, and today I have something that's exciting to me. Might be exciting for you guys, but my mom was nice enough to go out to the store and get the new modulus attachments, the storage attachments. So we, we're just going to review the storage shield and the storage stock. Um, I, whoop, that just fell. But I haven't seen this at all, like any reviews or anything yet, so hopefully this will be helpful. But, um... So, yeah, let's just get into the video, and I guess I'll review one at a time, and then show you what they look like and stuff on my everyday strife. So, let's just get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off by opening the stock, and... Okay, I'm going to open it with the tack, because I just want to use random things, I guess, because I'm that kind of person. Um... Hmm. Let's think. There we go. Okay. So, and there it is. Take it out of its cardboard. And bigger than I thought. It's about a little bit smaller than my hand, and my hand is. I don't know. I'll, we'll do a size comparison to other things that you would know the actual size of. So, yeah, so it's a, basically what it is, is it's a Raider stock with storage in it and painted cooler, in my opinion. And so, um, it just, uh, well, it's just stock, so <laughs> it just slides on. And then I have a Raider stock right here that actually goes with my Strife. It's a pretty nice stock by looks, not because I don't know about. There we go. That seems firm, the slide. And then, you know, it's a it's a pretty comfortable stock. Like the there's a little spot where you can rest your cheek. That's pretty comfortable. Um, I, I have never seen these on shelves before. My, uh, my friend, you know, Quinn, he said that he had saw them at Target. And so I asked my mom to go and grab them or I asked my mom to grab the shield, but she decided to get both of them. So thanks mom. And, uh, I'll go get some darts to fit them in there. So be right back. Okay, so I have the darts, and we'll just grab a bunch of elite darts. So there we go. I'll just grab a handful, and then the back just slides up. It's pretty smooth. It locks pretty good. I mean, this could be vital to your new four. So there's not any like holes back there. You just kind of throw them in, but I'm trying to get them so they're flat. Uh, let's see how many we can fit in there. Okay, so it looks like 10. So, but that's, um, that's sideways how they advertise it. But, yep, closes up. I mean, I think it's a good idea. It's certainly, yep, it's a, it's basically, like I said, it's basically a Raider stock with, um, with storage. And that's pretty neat. So, just for a size comparison, because I thought if you're watching this, you're obviously probably going to have these. So, that's about the size comparison to a Nerf dart. And that's about how far back they fit in there. So, I guess we'll open the shield now. Okay, so I got my tack back. <laughs> and I think we'll just... Maybe you don't even need a tack. Or a knife. Yeah, you just you just open the top, and da, 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 da. oh no, there was a little tape on the sides. But so I'm excited for this one because I just think it's well. How many does it hold? It holds six mega darts, mm, and it appears to be maybe. Hold on. I'm sure it says somewhere. 
It holds over 20 darts. Let's just go with that because I'm really brain dead right now. And jet butter. There we go. So it looks pretty sweet in the box. And, oops. Zip ties. Or not zip ties, twist ties. Don't want that. And there we go. We have the shield and it's foldable, so you can just kind of have it, at, I guess, folded. Or if you want it to be angled, or you can just have it flat. I prefer angled because I think it just looks... I think it just looks cooler. But we will fill this up with darts and see what it looks like. <laughs> that looks pretty sweet. <laughs> just cower behind that. Yeah, so it does hold 24 darts. Unless if you want to put three more in this little rivet design thing, which you can... And then for those of you who are like, oh, I wish I had like an attachment that could hold like a couple rivals around or something. These mega dart holders, you can just kind of squish rivals around into there and they stand pretty well. This whole design, I think, I think it's pretty a good, uh, I think it's pretty a good idea. I think it's a pretty good idea. Uh, we'll put it on the strife now. <sighs> that is huge. Big and bulky. And you know what? Just for the sake of this video. There we go. So now I have the combo. That looks intimidating. Just this big wall. I'm surprised Donald Trump didn't make this. Um, yeah, so these, the side thing, the side flaps. Um, at first, they were. I was a little bit worried about them because they weren't really staying. But after putting all the darts in, they, it holds pretty well. Uh, the shield, it's a, it's a, it's really wobbly there, as you can see, so, that's one complaint I have about that, but otherwise, I think it's, it's bigger than the other modular shields from the striking, thump the mag release, it's bigger than the, um, shield in the strike and defend kit, this is how big it is compared to a nerf dart, well, at least you couldn't tell by the rest of these, and, um, yeah, so on to the end of the video. Okay, so my final thoughts on this, on these are the stock. Well, these are about $8 at Target. We got them at Target, or my mom got them at Target. Thanks again. Um, that probably won't stand up, but. So yeah, about $8 at Target. And uh, if you want something that's sturdy, and can hold extra ammo, I'd go with this one, but if you want like something to, I guess, protect you and hold way more ammo and mega rounds, uh, then this one's one for you, as long as you don't mind a little bit of wobble like me. But also, this, this space is big enough that you can like put candy back there or something and <laughs> snack around at a Nerf War, but so, yeah, that was my review on the Modulus Modulus Mod, Mod, Modulus uh, storage attachments. So give this video a like, subscribe, comment if you want any more reviews, and we'll see you next time on NoobTube.